My name is Heidi uh, Lorraine Garza, and um, I am a breast cancer survivor, um, but I was first diagnosed with uh, stage two breast cancer on August 9th, 2018. I would hear through the grapevine, like, oh, we'll go to Houston and, or go somewhere else, like to other facilities, but I didn't want to be away from my family. So I felt like I wasn't done here and I wasn't gonna let this uh, define me or take me. So sometime in the process of when I was getting my chemo, I started Googling or reading or getting information about reconstructive surgery. Um, because for me, I rather had done a, a double mastectomy and then just do the reconstructive surgery because I was still very young and I wanted to still be here. I don't want to have to be in the back of my head thinking like, is this going to come back on my other breast? Is it going to come back on the same breast or, or on both breasts? So it's like, I just didn't want that lingering in the back of my head. And, and uh, that's when I started doing some more research. And then Dr. De La Garza kept popping out. I started seeing a lot of good reviews uh, from him as a reconstruction doctor. Um, and then I started looking at surgeons and then that's when I, I uh, got introduced to Dr. Garcia Cantu as well. And then I found out that they work really well on combo cases. And then when I started looking at nipple sparing, uh, double mastectomies, that's when I found that Dr. De La Garza was like an expert in that the end of February of 2019. That's when I did my double mastectomy. It was almost a 10 hour surgery. Uh, I know that Dr. Garcia Cantu went in first to do the removal. After he was done, then Dr. De La Garza went in to do the reconstruction. And Dr. De La Garza is amazing. <laughs> he reconstructed everything. Like, I'm just like, I'm still in disbelief sometimes when I, when I see myself, yes, I might have a, some scarring, you know, and, but my scars are not that visible. They're starting to fade. Uh, I think I healed really well. I thank God every morning that I'm here because, um, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, for him giving me another chance. To all our survivors out there, I just wanted to share something. Um, I wrote this a couple of days ago. Survivor doesn't give justice to what it is we really overcome. It's about surviving the emotional abuse that cancer will make sure you endure day in and day out. It's about surviving while everything you know about yourself is no longer there. And you have to figure that out, who the new you is, Heidi. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I beat it, I had it, I beat it, and I'm a survivor.